All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're going to talk about Discord threads. You can actually see one right over here called Joystick Sensitivity. And the whole idea behind threads are it's a nice way to continue a conversation that might not have a specific channel that is the most appropriate place to have it, but you also don't really want to clutter up the main chat of your general chat with some sort of random off-topic discussion when something else more important is going on or you just kind of prefer to take it somewhere else. For whatever reason, you have the ability to create a thread and then when you click on it, either here or up at the top, you can see under my general chat on the top bar, there's a little hashtag with a little chat bubble with a number one. That's how many threads are active right now. You can also see how many are archived as well. And then you can click on that thread in order to go in and have a conversation. In this case, this user is trying to figure out how to change some sensitivity settings in DS4 Windows, so I figured it would be a good place to pull this conversation to the side and test out this functionality. So now we can have this conversation and it stays out of the main chat up here. Although you can click on this little blue arrow here under, you know, this little pop out that I created to show that there is a like a thread going on. I can click on this blue five messages button and it'll actually bring up a secondary chat window so that I can chat with people over here in the main chat window. And I can also chat with him on the side at the exact same time. Now, once you're done with a thread, most of these threads auto archive after an hour to 24 hours, depending on how you set it up. And if you have certain nitro levels, you can set them to automatically archive after like a week. So you can keep the conversation open and running. Although for the most part, I really don't see almost anybody using the threads anywhere in Discord. So I don't know how often this will come up. And if you want to manually archive a thread because you know you're done using it, you can hit archive thread right here. And really that's all there is to it. All you gotta do is find a message that you want to have a, a, a you know, a, a thread conversation. And if you have the permissions to create a thread, it'll pop up right here in the right click menu. You can say create thread. You can name it something and then you can hit create thread and the name will show up over here in the, the channel list as like a sub conversation going on in this channel. Um, and there's also a few sorts of permissions that can go along with threads. Like let's say you want to edit your main chat channel so that random people can't make threads. There's actually a permission down here that allows you to create a thread or create a man create and manage threads. So you can actually prevent people from being able to create public threads that people can join and prevent them from creating private threads to try to keep the clutter on your server to a minimum. So the permissions for threads are create threads that are public, create them that are private. So that would be between like two or three people. And also you can go down here and there is the permission to manage threads, which if you give somebody the ability to be a chat moderator, being able to lock down threads where bad behavior is happening is probably a really good idea because this is one of many tools that people could use to be mean to one another. And it's good to be aware of that just in case. On a server level, if I go into my server settings and I go down to our roles, let me just pick like, Monster Moderator as a good example. You can see down in here, if we go through all the different stuff, I can make it so that moderators can always create public threads and create private threads. And then let's keep going all the way down to the bottom. I also want to make sure that they have the ability to manage threads because that way they can always see what's going on in them to make sure that nobody's trying to be an uh, a bit of a butt to one another and harass someone. So that's really the long and short of it. You can also make it possible for people to archive these threads. So if I go into server settings, back to roles, I believe I saw that. In fact, we can just type in thread. 
So we can allow people to send messages and threads, create public threads, create private threads, and manage threads. And for the most part, I'm going to let anybody who has access to the server to be able to create threads because it's really not something that I personally see a lot of people using. Mostly because this isn't really a Discord functionality. This is like something that they stole from Slack chat, which is like the business version of Discord. And honestly, people just, if they're having a private conversation, people generally create a private chat group. And if people are having a conversation, they tend to just keep having the conversation. So that in a nutshell is how threads work. You can find them once you've created them at the top under threads or on the sidebar underneath of the main channel that they were started in. And then once they're archived, you can only see them at the top under archived threads and they'll show you public and private categories. And you can also at the top here, create a thread at any time. And when you create them, not from a regular message, but just in the wild, you give it a name. You say like, hey, I had a question real fast. And then you can either make this private or you can set it up so that only people that you invite can join the conversation. Although private threads are also, it appears, locked behind level two of Discord Nitro boosting, which is probably another reason why people don't use this feature that much. So that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. This has been a quick little look at threads on Discord. What are they? How do they work? How can I control them? And yeah, that's pretty much the long and short of it. Until next time, I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions about threads, leave those in the comments section. I'll try to help you out as best as I can. Until next time, you know, have a good one. And bye, everybody.